why Meghan Markle and Pippa Middleton reportedly don't get along. You'd be pretty hard pressed to find a family that never has any disagreements whatsoever. Usually, these rifts are relatively minor and get resolved quickly. However, sometimes things get a little out of hand, even to the point where the people involved don't speak to each other for a while. In the past year or so, it seems that we have been hearing about quite a lot of feuds among the members of the royal family. From the rumored tension between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle to the disagreement between Prince William and Prince Harry, there has been a lot of drama. In fact, there is no doubt that many fans can't keep up with who is not speaking to whom behind palace doors these days. When we recently saw Meghan and Kate at Wimbledon, joined by Kate's sister, Pippa Middleton, many of us were excited at the prospect that the three of them had become the newest trio and would be making many more appearances together. Unfortunately, the fact of the matter is, that although Meghan and Pippa share a lot of similar interests, they are very unlikely to become friends. So, why is it that the Duchess of Sussex and Pippa don't get along? Meghan went to Pippa's wedding reception. Pippa married her husband, James Matthews, about a year before Meghan and Harry tied the knot at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, England. We saw Kate and William, as well as little Prince George and Princess Charlotte, arriving at the church in the Middleton's hometown of Buckleberry to take part in Pippa's big day. Of course, Harry made the trip from London to attend the ceremony as well. He and Meghan were already dating at the time, and although she didn't go to the church, she was present for the reception after Harry went and picked her up, taking her back to the Middleton family home so that she could join in the celebrations, according to brides. They enjoyed the day at Wimbledon. Fans were delighted to see Kate, Meghan, and Pippa, all sitting together, laughing and apparently having a wonderful time at Wimbledon. There are even photographs of the three of them leaning in to speak to each other, so judging from all outward appearances, everything seemed to be just fine. Elle reports that the three women arrived together, with Meghan sitting between the Middleton sisters, and it looked as if they were truly enjoying each other's company. Why don't Meghan and Pippa get along? It would seem as if Meghan and Pippa would get along wonderfully, perhaps even becoming good friends, but sadly, this is unlikely to ever happen. Why is that? Many are left wondering if it has to do with the fact that after Will and Kate's wedding, fans were rooting for Harry and Pippa to get together, yet this didn't happen. According to Express, the irony is that Meghan and Pippa are just so much alike that it may be causing tension. They both love the spotlight and media attention. But sadly, Pippa sees Meghan as someone who was hurtful to Kate and who wants to completely butt her own spin on the monarchy. A royal expert tells Fox News that Pippa isn't really very fond of Meghan, so we can only assume that the smiles and laughter were for the cameras only. The expert goes on to say that Pippa can definitely deal with Meghan. Although we have not seen them together on many occasions, we hope that things work out for the Duchess of Sussex and Pippa, and wish them nothing but the best of luck.